Greetings, and welcome to episode 70. In today's episode, we'll discuss dealing with guilt. Uh, this has to do with the conversation I had with my wife over, not this weekend, but the weekend before. No, matter of fact, it was this weekend. Uh, just talking through some, some difficulties we've been having lately. And uh, I think that we made a few breakthroughs, but it's not, the episode isn't just about dealing with guilt, but that is the basic premise, I guess you would say. But, if we are ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, dealing with guilt, or more to the point, dealing with somebody else's guilt. When you enter into a relationship with someone, you have to take on a few responsibilities, especially if one or the other of you is more mature than the other. What I mean by this is say one is older and has been through more, or even younger but is still has been through more, then if you enter into a relationship, say the more mature person, the one with more experience, we'll just say, enters into a relationship with someone with less experience, that person with more experience now bears the responsibility of allowing that less experienced counterpart experience life, experience the journey they're supposed to have. I mean, just because they're with you doesn't mean the learning curve ends there. They don't stop learning. You're not giving up on life. They didn't die just because they got with you. That means they're probably going to go out and need to experience a lot of things they didn't experience before they met you. And meeting you doesn't negate that fact. It just it won't go away just because, you, well, they're with me. Why would they need to learn anything else? It doesn't work that way. The whole point of being on this planet is to learn. And it took me five or six years pretty much the entire acclimation process of my marriage to my wife to figure out that the reason I was going through what I was going through wasn't because I hadn't been through it but because she hadn't been through it she used to complain well you're just perfect and you never do anything wrong she used to get mad and and I had to tell her this this last weekend during our conversation. It's not that I'm perfect. I said uh, there's a saying, and I told her this. I said there's a saying. I said the teacher has screwed up more times than the student has even tried. <laughs> I said it's not that I'm perfect. I said I had years to screw it up, and now I know how to get it right. And so you're you're getting to enjoy the getting it right. <laughs> but okay now even just thinking about that now I see that seeing me not making any mistakes if I were in her shoes that would make me feel worse like I'm making all these mistakes and they never do anything wrong and, and that would just it would compound whatever guilt I was feeling about making the mistake in the first place so Bab if you're watching this I understand now <laughs> Just in mentioning that, it just came to my mind that it just has to compound it because it would for me, seeing that you're not making mistakes, but I'm making mistakes. It's, but again, let me reiterate I've already screwed up. Instead of being mad because I'm not screwing up, you should be thankful that I'm not screwing it up with you. <laughs> anyway, back to it. So, you're letting this person experience life, but you don't get to decide which experiences they have. If you say, okay, you get to experience life, you don't get to go cherry pick their experiences. They're going to go experience life in their time. 
in other words when it's when these things start to come up in their life in their little corner of the world that's when they have to deal with it and if they've never been through it odds are they're going to make a few mistakes at least the first few times I mean you can't expect them well I don't do that yes but you've already been through it that's why you don't do that why do they keep messing up because how many times did it take you to mess up before you got the hang of it think about that uh, uh, he's cheated on me a dozen times and I've never cheated on him but how many you, you I, I don't care who you are you've cheated on someone before and even if you've only cheated on someone once in your entire life regardless of your age if you've only cheated on someone once in your entire life you learned your lesson so it didn't ever have to happen again if this person is cheating on you repeatedly two things it could be one of two reasons a they still haven't figured it out why they cheat and how to stop it two what are you doing wrong <laughs> Straight up, what are you doing wrong? Because nobody's perfect and there's two sides to every story. And granted, sometimes it's just circumstances. And I don't mean, oh, they were both naked in the same room at the same time. It's not only natural. No, what I mean by circumstances is maybe one of you travels a lot. Maybe one of you is just emotionally unavailable or always working or always out with the friends or whatever. You're helping to facilitate that experience for them. But regardless, if you've decided that you want to be with this person, then you take a measure of responsibility for your decision. And instead of freaking out and dumping this person, help them through this moment. You know, we all see growing up the politics within relationships. It's, it's really not just you and her or you and him it's you her and her family it's her you and your family it's you her and her friends it's her you and your friends so there's a whole politics involved in this and you never know someone could be trying to infiltrate your relationship unbeknownst to you swaying your decision or swaying your spouse's decision you know now this is where guilt factors in and can be a death now say this person that is infiltrating your relationship is working on the least experienced person they're gonna have the greatest level of effect on that person because they haven't been through it and don't get me wrong they're not after them they're after you they're just working on the least experienced person in the relationship because they know that that's the one that's the link that's going to break regardless of what that person who's infiltrating wants they could just want to see you guys apart they could just be jealous but from what I've learned it is less often just because they don't want you to be together than it is that somebody's trying to split you guys up so they can get their hands on you or the other one but they're gonna go after the one with the least amount of experience because they know that that's the most effective approach now why does it work least experienced they have pent-up guilt now think about this they've already made quite a few mistakes in the relationship so they already feel inadequate within that relationship and the way I explained it we've been together 13 years now think about when you were younger within a 13 year period you've already dated five six people so all the guilt you felt from screwing up in the one relationship kinda hangs in limbo when you go to the next relationship because and then you start getting these same situations and you know what to do and every time you do it right it diminishes a portion of that guilt 
as opposed to being in a 13 year relationship that guilt's not hanging in any limbo you're experiencing that that guilt on a near daily basis a word can trigger it just seeing the person's face can trigger it uh, if they've cheated having sex can be a trigger for guilt so it then becomes important for the more experienced person in a relationship to take a measure of responsibility for their decision to be in a relationship with a less experienced partner you cannot expect them to get it well lead um, why can't you follow my example because that's not how it works your child has never seen you put your hand on a lit burner on the stove what are they gonna do they're gonna touch the burner on the stove fact so when you're taking this responsibility for your decision you have to understand that if you love this person you have to understand that I'm not going through this for me they're not doing this to me or in spite of me they're doing this because this is just their learning curve you just happen to be the one they're learning with it say you decided okay the first time they screwed up you decide you're gonna dump them so you dump them then they're gonna experience it in a more natural form the way you experienced it that guilt's gonna hang in limbo they're gonna go on to the next person they're gonna try to get it right maybe they don't uh, they don't get it right that guilt snowballs and then their next relationship it's even bigger and this it grows until you start figuring it out and start doing it right and then that guilt starts to diminish but say the next one they get with they figure it out so that guilt that was hanging in the balance is starting to diminish because they're getting it right but that's how it would have been had you dumped them the fact that you decided to stay with them that's your fault and responsibility because now they have nowhere to go from that guilt they have to deal with that guilt they have to carry that guilt every day and they're never gonna admit to you that they've done wrong depending on the infraction and you know what I'm talking about if they've cheated you may know they've cheated but if you don't have proof they're never gonna admit it which is gonna cause that guilt to just sit there but instead of hanging in limbo while they move on to the next person it's there in real time 24 7 and they've really got no way to deal with it because they can't talk to you about it they're terrified you're gonna leave but what you can do as the more mature more experienced partner in the relationship you can set them down and say hey look I know some things went down and finally I mean it's been years I and I've I've even been that person that more experienced person I'm that more experienced person now but you just say I used to say point blank you know I know some things went on here's your chance your freebie I'm giving you a freebie right now you just tell me right now all the shitty things you've ever done even if it's cheating all the shitty things you've ever done to me and let's get it out of the way because you start to see after a while that guilt is eating at them and eating at them and it starts affecting your relationship you start losing stuff that you have grown quite fond of like sex <laughs> not because they don't like sex or they don't like sex with you but because sex is now a trigger for all that guilt they feel toward you and then you start getting the blame for that guilt instead of oh my god I screwed up and I feel guilty now it's I feel guilty because of you and technically they have a point but that's really not their place to be upset because they feel guilty because of you I mean they're free to leave the relationship also if they refuse to feel that guilt or experience it in any way they're free to go if you refuse to feel that hurt and or or you choose to feel hurt and slighted rather than seeing it for what it is it's somebody going through their natural learning curve they're just not hop skipping through relationships they're staying in this fixed long-term relationship this is how they deal with it this is how you deal with it I mean how are you gonna deal with it if you're in a long-term relationship you've pretty much decided that I'm linking my journey to theirs this doesn't stop their journey as much as you'd like to believe that you they suddenly they don't need to learn anymore and their journey is stopped that's why people grow apart because one or the other is holding one or the other back but when you don't allow them to hold you back you neither hold them back do you understand
And that's the way it should be. They shouldn't be holding you back. But you shouldn't be holding them back either. That's why you see these very, very possessive relationships of the, the one with more experience more often than not will put the, the less experienced person on lockdown and lock them down from experiencing life at their own time in their own place and they can't have any experiences without the him or her there because they're terrified well you might learn too much and not need me anymore really if that's what you're afraid of they don't need you now that's a fact <laughs> like I'm not afraid that my wife is going to learn too much or learn enough to not need me. I made her a promise. I'm here until I'm dead or you find someone better. So if she goes out and decides she doesn't need me anymore, whatever makes her happy, that's what I'm about, is whatever makes her happy. So... I didn't put the clamps down. I didn't put put her in lockdown like she's living in a prison. She's free to go, come and go as she pleases. She's free to go out and make whatever decision she wants to make. Uh, there's a saying where I used to live, and there's probably other places than that, but where I used to live up in Michigan, and there's a saying, give them just enough rope to hang themselves. You can have, I mean, if that rope could, that can circle the world a billion times, but as soon as you screw up, you're, you just hung yourself. So you give them all the freedom they think they want and see what they do with it. If the person is less experienced than you, I guarantee you they're going to hang themselves. And pretty soon, you'll feel bad for putting even that limit on it. If you have a sufficient level of understanding. If you don't have a sufficient level of understanding, you're going to dump them the first time they screw up and there's no real point in you watching this video because none of this stuff concerns you now likewise what if you're equally matched in the experience department well then you both carry guilt because you're both making mistakes because we're all only human and the same thing applies this person has now become a trigger for my guilt Two things you can learn take away from this. Either A, learn it and stop screwing up because you know first time you make a mistake, it's a mistake. The second time you make that same mistake, it is a conscious choice. So if you continually make the same mistakes in a relationship and you're the more mature one, these are decisions. But the same can also be said for a, le a less mature or a less uh, experienced participant is uh, if they're making the same mistake over and over and over it's a choice it's no longer a mistake people make mistakes and they're entitled but two or three times the same damn mistake that's a decision and that's a fact that is a fact I don't know what happened we just ended up naked in the same room and with you know one thing led to another how the fuck did you end up in the same room in the first place? And how'd your clothes come up? <laughs> anyway, not important. The important thing is, from that point, what are you going to do? As the more experienced person in the relationship. And don't get it twisted. The more experienced person in the relationship does make mistakes. The least experienced person in a relationship can walk in to your fiasco and then it's their decision but then being the one that slighted is almost the same as being the one carrying the guilt because that person now becomes a trigger how you used to feel about them that level of trust that was there wanting to have that back becomes a trigger being reminded of in any way, shape, or form, anything that triggers what they've done in your mind will hold you back, will hold back the relationship. And the other person starts losing those little privileges that they used to love so much, the little sweet things. Because you don't want them to think that 
they screwed up and it's all good. But see, a person that feels guilty does the same thing, but for a different reason. See, the one does it as a punishment because they've been slighted. The other does it because that's how they deal with the guilt. Because all those little sweet things, those become triggers for them. And sometimes I think that she just gets so sick of carrying the guilt that she would just she would rather not be with me than carry that much guilt. And if that's how she if that's how a person starts to feel, then you need to tell them you need to invite them to leave. You know, if this is how you feel, you need to go because you're never going to be happy because you're always going to carry that guilt. And you let them know. I mean, if you're willing to stay with them and work through all that, you as the one that was slighted needs to bear the responsibility of telling them hey you know it's all good you don't have to go anywhere I don't, I'm not holding this against you you have my permission to let it go but then the other person has to be mature enough to say okay yeah I screwed up and this is what I did and that will help them deal with the guilt in the first place. But this takes a dramatic level of understanding. It also takes a dramatic level of experience. If you haven't been through this stuff before, either on the giving or receiving end of it, this stuff's going to be just as new to you as it is to the person doing it to you. So yeah, it's going to be one of those breakup situations. But once you've been through it, you know better and you can't pretend you'd know but you don't know better just because it hurts it's gonna hurt <laughs> it's gonna hurt if it's this person or if it's the next person or the person after that or the person after that so you need to make the decision is it is it so important that I'm going to ruin this relationship that this person clearly does not want to be over or am I just gonna move on to the next because for me It's not mistakes so much as crappy getting treated crappily, getting treated like I'm less than, like I don't matter. That's what gets to me. Those that 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 to me is unforgivable. Especially if you look at the things that you're willing to do for a person and then they treat you in such a fashion that you feel like you're less than either them or whoever or whatever and I've had quite a few relationships where that happened and uh, that to me kills it that to me kills it worse than cheating cheating is sex that is a very strong drive to try to override and it takes I can say from experience it takes a lot of effort to override that drive and not go with not go with mini me <laughs> we'll just say but being mean that's not a drive just being mean and nasty to someone that's not a drive at all that's just a that's just a decision And if you're going to make the decision to be mean to me, then I'm going to make the decision to maybe not be around you so much. Fair is fair, right? <laughs> but anyway, if you're in that type of relationship where the one is more experienced than the other, and you are the one that's more experienced, then you... I'm going to assume that you have the greater level of understanding and empathy and experience and all these things can combine to approach a situation from an open mind when, from an open heart and if you choose to keep that relationship going then it falls to you to help repair it don't just sit there brooding because you've been wronged, but actually actively stand up and do something about it. 
there should be no reason at all why the other person is carrying around that guilt now the only reason why I haven't dealt with it before is because I didn't know how and in explaining this video and talking about this video I've had a whole bunch of ideas jump up in my head and on how to fix what's it's not really broken but it does need repair if you understand what I mean by that but I now know I have a little bit of better understanding and and what I could be doing to to smooth those rough edges to make that person feel more comfortable about being in a relationship that love is unconditional and that it's okay to make mistakes and that I understand this is part of your learning curve but also let them know that once is a mistake more than once is a decision so now you're no longer making mistakes now you're making decisions so this is where you need to decide have you learned your lesson or not <laughs> anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close it down my little rant there <laughs> it's only 25 minutes we're not yet to the 30 minute mark but what can I what can I tell you? <laughs> Still a good video in my opinion. But uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. Uh, leave comments down below. That would be awesome to hear feedback, especially on this video. Well, can't say especially because there's a lot of these videos where I would really like some feedback because I want to hear other people's points of view. Anyway. If you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there. <laughs>